Antonio Sabato Jr. Um, you know, they say they're moving to Canada, not one celebrity has followed yeah. through yet. And Antonio, do you expect any of them to renounce their U.S. citizenship when they threaten to move? Absolutely not. This is just hypocrisy to the max. I mean, this is like, uh, it's laughable. You know, when you back your country up, when you love this nation more than anything, it doesn't matter who's president. You put America first, and that's the bottom line. But, you know, I, I think they're just full of uh, lies. I think they should just keep their word, actually, after what they've done, and uh, leave the country if that's what they want to do. I mean, we have uh, a better stock market in the last few days than it's ever been in I don't know how many years. This country is going to be a lot safer. It's going to be a lot better. Your taxes are going to be lower. I mean, what else do you want? And, um, you know, and it doesn't give you the right to burn the American flag. And uh, that's just disrespectful. This country comes first. And uh, our next president is putting this country first. You know, there's meetings going on right now in Washington, D.C. with uh, the high rank and file of the Democrat Party. They're trying to, they're saying to themselves, how do we miss this? What is going on? And then, uh, Antonio, we have the New York Times public editor uh, putting out a, a, a note saying, how did we miss this? There's a lot of hand-wringing going on. What forces and strains in America drove this divisive election and outcome? It's like they didn't see what was going on in the cities that have been annihilated, where jobs have been lost. These are, these are people who live in coastal cities or in urban centers where jobs are there. How could they miss mm -hmm. what was going on in the heartland with working men and women wanting to work, even Democrat union workers not working? How do celebrities, how do the media miss that? Because they live in a dream. They're stuck up and they're stubborn. I've been backing up Mr., uh, our next president, Mr. Trump, for 18 months. Uh, he's beaten uh, 17 other candidates. He's, he went uh, against the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, and he's won against everyone. I knew it from the beginning he was going to win. It was not going to be easy, but he did it. I have no idea. I mean, I think these people just live in a, in a bubble, and, um, and uh, they got woken up last week, and uh, now we finally have a president who puts this nation first. And he's a great man. His family is just wonderful, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited. And I know a lot of friends of mine in the industry that are just as excited as I am.